After a week on El Hierro, we untied the lines and said goodbye to the Canaries for this time. We had a good weather forecast with us and we're very excited for the 750 nautical miles passage to the Cape Verde Islands. Yuan is setting up the whisker pole for our head sail. The pole keeps the sail more stable when sailing downwind, and the preventer lines fix the boom in one position. Making some egg sandwiches for lunch. First day out, we left La Restinga two and a half hours ago. And the wind is starting to come down a bit. It was quite windy when we uh, first started, 25 knots. Now it's down to 15, so perfect. So Johan is not only captain on this sailboat, he's also the chef. Uh, he's mostly doing all the cooking since I'm struggling a little bit being down below I uh, tend to get seasick so okay I better get up before I start to get a little bit seasick it's almost six o'clock our first day on our set to the Cabo Verdes the wind has died down quite a bit we only have like 8 to 10 knots of wind now doing just under 5 knots so far it's been a really good sail Marlin has been feeling a bit seasick but I think it will be alright until tomorrow so she's down below sleeping right now the wind isn't doing exactly as it was uh, forecasted uh, let's turn to the east a bit so we actually have it on the beam now but that's all right because we can still have a direct course to Mindelo so no worries about that how are you feeling Malin? not good uh, it's very rolly and no wind. Yeah. yeah, we were going to watch a series down below and I got seasick. Maybe not the best thing you can should do. No. Uh, we did, we've done it before many times. It's been alright. Yeah. It will be better. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and uh, we're becalmed. We're somewhere outside Western Sahara. Not halfway yet uh, to Cape Verde. And um, there is almost no wind at all. As you can hear, the sails are starting to slap. But we really don't want to start the engine. So we're waiting that the wind will come back and yeah, so we can start, so we can sail again. The sun is coming up. Johan is asleep. I'm on my second uh, night shift. And uh, yeah, it's so quiet out here. Underneath us, we have around 4,000 meter of water. Um, yeah. I mean, it's very peaceful but of course you get annoyed when you want to sail we'll see what happens
we say about today? Yeah, not very good sailing, huh? It's uh, the forecast hasn't been very correct. Should have had 10 to 15 knots of wind the last 24 hours, but has been three to six yeah. knots of wind. Almost no wind at all at times. Yeah, we started the motor like around 11 uh, this morning. Yeah, it's been one thing today yeah. that happened. There's a, there's a small sound coming from the propeller shaft where it exits the boat. So it's probably the stuffing box where the prop propeller um, goes through the hull. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. If it maybe it doesn't get uh, proper uh, amount of water in there. It gets overheated. Yeah, it so seems like it's overheating. Uh, it's and really then annoying. This, so like screaming sound starts. The yeah, same thing that happened in the Bay of Biscay. Yeah, but back then we thought it was the gearbox, but now we have localized it, so it's definitely not the, the gearbox, it's the, the stuffing yeah. box. So, yeah, we need to sort that out. Uh, will be a problem at Cabo Verde, because you can't lift the boat there. So, uh, unfortunately, we probably have to wait for that until we uh, reach uh, the Caribbean. That's not very good, but uh, it's working for now, there's no problem, uh, nothing dangerous, it's just, you can hear on, on this sound, yeah, it's I mean, a small yeah. sound that there is something isn't right with it. So we try to not run the motor too fast and not for uh, too, too many hard. hours, so that's why we're going to uh, shut down the motor when the sun goes down and uh, if there's no wind we will uh, just drift. So, That's not so it. lucky so far, but okay, the weather is nice, it's warm, it's, uh, you know, Very we're, we're, we're at sea again. I'm not seasick any longer, yay! <laughs> I feel like myself again, so I'm happy for that. Oh, um, I can start to enjoy it and to start to eat as well. Doing a improvised wing on wing with the Jenniker and uh, the small uh, Genoa pulled out because we're going uh, almost straight downwind. So the theory is that the smaller sails sails spill some of the wind into the to the Jenniker to keep it steady, even if we're going really deep. And the trade wind hasn't been very strong since we left the Canaries, but they're pushing us along slowly. We're getting there, but not as fast as we want to. First shower. Yeah. Sorry to smell too much. Feel like a new person? Yeah,
it's in the Atlantic. Good morning. It's Sunday morning. We've reached halfway. Yay! It was a good night. Finally, we got some wind and we can do some speed. So right now we have around... We're doing five to six knots of speed with yeah, seven to nine knots of wind. So that's very good. Sailing downwind, wind coming straight from behind. Not the biggest one, <laughs> but, but we have food for, the, for tonight. First fish! Preparing dinner for tonight. Now when we cut a fish, of course we're gonna have that for dinner. And together with that we're gonna have a salad with carrots. Bon appétit. Perfect. Hmm? This is actually the first night, I think, where we had some really pleasant sailing so far. Closing in on Mindelo, we have about uh, 75 nautical miles left. Yeah, we, we don't want to enter the marina or the bay there at night. So even if we have good wind and we could make some really good speeds now, we have decided to slow down uh, and wait and uh, reach Mindelo by tomorrow morning at sunrise. Because it's not rec recommended to enter that bay at night. There's a lot of after wrecks and uh, unlit stuff so uh, I think it's a good decision Last evening at sea, and uh, it's really rolly. So I can't wait to go to the harbor, have a shower, and yeah. So we have uh, decided to try to enter the Bay of Mindelo at night. Our plan from the beginning was to leave too until the morning and wait, but um, yeah, the wind came down quite a lot, so we don't think the acceleration zone here will be that ferocious as we thought first, so we take our chances and uh, enter the bay at night, should it be. Yeah, you can see the city on the horizon here now, so it would be great. Hi. 
How does it feel to finally have arrived? It feels... We have just done the check-in with immigration and the uh, harbor, maritime, uh, police. And I mean, I must say that it was much easier than, than what you uh, read about online and in the guidebooks. It's much easier. They didn't take our passports. The only it was only the maritime police that wanted to keep the, the ship's papers, so we just gave them a laminated copy. But you get it back when you go and check out. So it was very easy, we did everything in one hour. Yeah, I thought it was mm -hmm. actually more convenient than in, in Portugal. Yeah. doing our checking procedure. So first we went to the immigration and now we are at Felicia Maritima to get uh, I don't know why but yeah, you need to go here. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this episode which was made possible by our patrons. Please subscribe to follow our voyage and if you liked the video we'd love if you give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned for the next episode and thanks for watching.